So we've all been taught that the moon causes tides because of its gravitational pull. That is somewhat accurate, but our teachers weren't telling us the whole truth. Okay, let's start simple and then add the more complicated bits. The moon revolves around the earth, right? Wrong. Earth and the moon revolve around each other. More specifically, they revolve around a specific point called the barycenter, where the moon and the earth balance each other out. This point is inside earth, but it's closer to the surface than the core. So earth and the moon revolve around this point. I got it so far? Good. The moon exerts more pull on the side of the earth to which it's closest, which explains why you get a true high tide on only one side of the planet at a time. The moon pulls the ocean so that the water bulges a bit and the nearby surfers are in for some sweet waves. Because Earth is spinning around this very center, it is affected by a centrifugal force that points away from the moon. Actually, centrifugal force in this case is something of a misnomer. Scientists like to talk about rotating reference frames and other silliness, but if you substitute the term centrifugal force, it offers basically the same result and is simpler to understand. Scientists seem to be fond of making things as complicated as possible. The moon exerts less gravitational pull on the far side of Earth, and centrifugal force takes charge, creating another bulge there. Two bulges at opposite ends mean two high tides a day. So that about wraps up the question, neatly and tidily. Get it? Sorry. Thanks for watching. See you on my next video.